Go ahead. One NC, Alexi. I'm here to negate the resolution that California should reform the death penalty. Disadvantages of the act. There are possibilities that um, some are wrongly convicted of the, uh, I of the death penalty if it is expedited. According to deathpenaltyinfo.org, the average number of years between being sentenced to death uh, ex ex exoneration is 11.3 years. From 1973 and later, there were a total of 157 people charges were that people's charges were dismissed, uh, pardoned, or acquitted. The AF argues that this is better for families of the victims and taxpayers. However, the statistic shows that, the death that if the death penalty is expedited, then a possible 157 people since 1973 would have been wrongfully sentenced to death. By expediting the death penalty, um, it, could it could possibly kill people who have been wrongly convicted because the average 11.3 years is taken away. Um, so the impact of this would be that more innocent people uh, die from the death penalty. The death penalty is already very controversial and it should be done in a, hum um, in a humane way under all circumstances and be done in a detailed process to ensure accuracy of the conviction. Lethal injection is used for capital punishment by the federal government and 36 states. At least 30 states, 30 of which of these states use a combination of these three drugs. Sodium, uh, that theopenol, which um, is used to induce anesthesia, uh, pan, Chronium, that's kind of hard to bromide, which um, is a muscle relaxant that paralyzes all of um, the muscle bodies, and potassium chloride, which is a salt that speeds up th uh, the heart rate until it stops. Other torturous ways of killing these victims would violate the Eighth Amendment, and the U.S. Constitution prohibits the federal government from imposing cruel and unusual punishment for federal crimes. The impact outweighs the harms for, or the impact outweighs the harms. The person being convicted is locked away and will be executed. The status quo keeps it fair for both sides. The criminal will face their punishment, however, it will take time to process, um, sorry, it will take time, it will take some time to process in order to ensure that <coughs> no one is wrongfully convicted. Deathpenalty.org says numerous reforms have been introduced in an attempt to create a less arbitrary system. Um, this has resulted in lengthier appeals and as mandatory sentencing reviews have been the norm. The continual changes in law and technology have necessi necessitated re-examination for individual sentences. The California tax taxpayers will be paying more money by keeping these criminals in jail. However, um, we are there are already many people in states who think the death penalty should be illegal. We, sh we should keep the death penalty to a mellow state since it is already very controversial. According to lawyers.com, it takes time because there are multiple steps in the appeals process in the death penalty case. There are multiple steps because it's the ultimate because it's the ultimate punishment and there's no room for error. Each state has its own process or procedure for the death penalty appeals, and there are there may be some variations, but in general, um, they all have the, uh, similar steps. The act does not really solve any new issues. Either way, the person has been sentenced. sentenced to death and will have a shorter life, which is the purpose of the death penalty. However, a serious procedure should not be rushed. The AF solvency of taxpayer money and satisfaction of, of the victim's family is a very minimum advantage compared to the possible mistakes that could be made. If anything, they are creating new harms. By expiring the death penalty, we are rushing the process that could potentially, that could be potential time for people to catch mistakes that have been made or for new evidence or confessions of those involved in the case, such as witnesses to come out. There is no problem with the current death penalty in California. Uh, experts say that, that there are reasons why it takes years to execute someone, because paperwork must be done very carefully. It helps give extra time in case there's an error. Expediting the death penalty does not guarantee the state will save as much money as you may think. There's an article on CBS News that says um, a 17-year-old uh, guy named Marty Tankler, um, at, he was 17 at the time of his parents' killing, was freed in 2007 at the age of 36 after appeals court found key evidence in his trial was overlooked. It wasn't until January, until, until January 2014 that he won the settlement of nearly $3.4 million in wrong, wrongfully convic conviction lawsuit against the state. 
by spending the death penalty, yes, it's possible the state will save some money, but it's not worth it in cases like this where the state owes wrongfully, the wrongfully convicted. Saving money is also not worth speeding up the process, which can lead to innocent death. Um, there's no perfect way for the for the state of California to end someone's life. Um, there will be flaw flaws and there will cost money. However, it's not worth expediting the process to save tax money. Let's <coughs> first say that the reason that reasons like accuracy and new evidence is why the process takes so long. We have to say should respect the lengthy process in order to keep innocent people from getting killed and do it in the most way, way possible. All right. One second.